Okay, so in today's math lesson, we started talking about charts and ratio charts, building them, taking a look at these ratios, and, uh, and answering some questions with regard to them. So uh, in this first exercise, we have, uh, we have someone who's spraying plants with a cornmeal juice as a natural way of preventing fungal growth on plants. It's made by soaking cornmeal in water using a mixture or a combination of two cups of cornmeal for every nine gallons of water, and complete the ratio table to answer the questions below. So the important values here, we have two cups of cornmeal here for every nine gallons of water. So in my ratio here, I should start with the value or the, the, uh, the bottom ratio here, the first, first ratio is two cups of cornmeal for every nine gallons of water. And then we're going to grow from there. So if they need another batch or they need to increase the, um, the batch here, their uh, cornmeal juice, they're going to go from a two to a four and a nine to an 18. So for every two, you get nine, right? So for every two cups of cornmeal, you need nine gallons of water. So if I was to add another two uh, cups of uh, cornmeal, I'm going to need another nine gallons of water. Okay, so that brings me to 27. Another two cups of cornmeal brings me to eight to a 36, because another nine gallons of water, because that's the ratio for every two. I go to 10, gives me, uh, I need nine gallons of water, which brings me to 45, okay? So that's my table, and now I have some questions that kind that go along with it. Uh, the first question is how many cups of cornmeal should be added to 45 gallons of water? Well, right there you can see that on the table we have our 45 gallons of water, and for that we're going to need 10 cups of cornmeal. So that's the first question. The second question, which you can uh, really can't see here, but I'm just going to read it for you. Uh, the second question here talks about, uh, Paul, he, he only has eight cups of cornmeal. How many gallons of water should he add if he wants to make as much cornmeal juice as he can? So if he only has eight, okay, that means he, um, that he needs 30, he's going to use all 36, um, all 36 gallons of water. So if he only has eight cups of cornmeal, he's going to need to use all 36 gallons of water to maximize the amount of cornmeal juice he can use. And then finally in C, and once again, you can't see that, sorry, it asks, uh, what can you say about the value of the ratio in the table? So this gets to the technical part here, because the value of each ratio is actually the same. So if I was to expand this ratio and I put in value, you'll know that every the value of each ratio breaks down to a 2 to 9 ratio, so that all the values are actually the same. And because of that, all ratios are therefore equivalent. OK? So that's what we worked on today, building tables from ratios um, and uh, analyzing the information and seeing, seeing what we can do from that. Okay? That's all, folks. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.